what's up guys so sorry for the late upload um actually i just got the block back from the machine shop the block and the crank uh it took them way longer than expected it took almost seven weeks for them to finish it up they're pretty backed up but finally got the block back i don't know if you can see it's right beside me um so we're gonna start this build i think we left off with uh me pulling a junkyard block from a cx7 almost uh, almost two months ago and uh that was i think the last uh upload for this playlist but for today i think we're going to work on um installing the crankshaft and the girdle um, main bearings main uh bolts i i did main bolts instead of reusing my arp uh main studs uh, i'll explain that later on uh it just worked out better that way i know it sounds weird why would you choose oem versus aftermarket stronger ones i'll explain that later but Anyways, uh, we're gonna install the crankshaft, the girdle, uh, main bearings, and we're just gonna keep it really clean, do a lot of uh, uh, blowing out the oil galleys, um, a lot of brake clean, just making sure that everything is as clean as possible. So this is the block that we got back from the machine shop. That is the one from my Mazda, but we couldn't fix it. it the cylinder walls are too oval. And they're already oversized, so we need a new block or sleeve it. And new block was the cheaper route, so we got a new block. This was the block that we pulled from the CX-7. Um, machine shop did whatever they needed to do to it. They oversized the bores to 88 millimeters to fit my pistons. And they cleaned it as much as they could. It's still a little bit dirty, but they tried their best. So we'll just take a quick look at the other side. One sec, it's going to be hard to turn so this right here is a torque plate I decided to use a torque plate in my build um, I mean if you have access to a torque plate I suggest always using it all it does is it sim simulates the head it simulates the head being torqued down with your uh, head studs that you're gonna be using because actually when you use head studs um, it distorts the shape inside here like especially since I'm using L19s uh, they're really strong clamping force so when you bore it out with the without the torque plate it'll be perfectly circle but as soon as you tighten these studs on it'll distort the shape of the cylinders so you put this torque plate on and then bore it out and then that way whenever your head is on it's going to be perfectly cir uh, circular <laughs> So I got, I don't know if you can see, King Racing uh, main, uh, main bearings. I already put them in the girdle, now I'm just gonna put them in the block. The light is kind of flickering because it's dying out, but here, I got an extra one. So in the box, you'll get two packages. One will have four bearings and the other will have five. This is the package with four. The one with four bearings, they have a slot down the middle of the bearing those go into the block and then you can see there's five bearing slots and they only come with four it's because they uh, ship this one separately and this is the thrust uh, bearing it goes in the middle it uh, has something to do with a uh, crankshaft and play now I'm gonna start off by placing the thrust washer bearing in, or yeah thrust washer bearing something like that So this is the bearing. Um, uh, the ones that go into the block have that little groove slot in it. This one down the middle. And it doesn't matter which way you can put it, you can put any way, because it has those two hots, uh, those two slots there where the oil will get fed through and uh, feed the journals of your crank. 
but yeah, it doesn't matter. You can flip it anyway. You just kind of want to center it as uh, close as possible and try to push it in as straight as possible. Make sure both lips are flush with the block. Try your best at least. All right, so the bearings are in. Um, I'm just gonna give them a little bit more of a pat down, make sure they're all seated properly, and then we're gonna drop the crank in and uh, hopefully uh, get the girdle on and tighten down all the main uh, bolt caps. Okay, so all of the uh, bearings are into the block. Again, sorry for the flashing light. My light is dying, so. I also cleaned the crank up, I used some brake clean and kind of polished it with uh, some of shop towel and then I blew off all the lint with some compressed air. But before we put the crank set it in here, I'm going to put some, uh, just a little dribble of uh, assembly loop. Just a little bit, you don't want to put too much. Just kind of one streak all the way around. All right, that's all. And then um, you can spread it just a little bit with your finger, but make sure you're changing out your gloves often so your gloves are not contaminated and just give it like a one little swoosh. But you don't want to put too much lube. Otherwise, I heard it could harm your engine also on first strike. So just a little bit. As we got it all on, spins freely. Spins easy right over here. Um, make sure you follow the torque sequence. Uh, how I put, make sure you don't forget the assembly lube too on the girdle. I just put a little da uh, dabble on it. Uh, make sure your bearings are obviously clean. Um, cleanliness is the main key here. And not too much, uh, don't over uh, do the assembly lube. Just a little bit should be fine. Just what I showed you guys, but yeah. I think that's all for this part. I think next thing is gapping piston rings and installing pistons and rods, connect them to the crank, and that should be pretty much it for the short block. I mean, other than attaching a few other things, oil pump, um, just attaching the add-ons. If you like what I'm doing, explaining it, if you want me to improve a little bit or explain better on a certain thing, just Put it in the comments below what you want to know and in the next video I should uh, I'll explain better on that until next time guys <laughs>